Okay, really a cool property here. I've got oceanfront real estate in Alaska. My name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land. This definitely fits a bill of unique and epic land investing. Um, these are the type of properties we love to roll out. I've sold a few properties in this neck of the woods here. Um, I've got some photos pulled up. I've got some videos pulled up. I want to unpack in this video. I want to talk about the location. I'm going to pull up the GPS coordinates on satellite imagery, on Onyx Maps. I'm going to show you what we're dealing with here with this one acre. So sit back for a few minutes. Um, I'm going to start the video with a disclaimer. This isn't real estate advice. It's not legal advice. Um, I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions on the property, what I know through my research and experience in the industry. You as a buyer are going to have to ultimately make your own decisions on if this is the right fit for you. But um, like I said, you know, starting here, I mean, you can see these glaciers. This is all a wilderness study area. Um, there's very, very, very few private landowners that exist on this little island here. Um, and I'm going to pull up a satellite map. There's a few of them around this. Um, but otherwise, you're going to be one of the few landowners that that get to own real estate in such a cool location. Um, when we talk about the area, people buy these properties and find unique ways to use them, whether it be camping, whether it be you know boating out to setting up kind of tree forts type of thing, you know, whale watching, um, crabbing, fishing, all that good stuff. I mean, it's going to be your recreational mecca out here in Alaska. So um, these are these are fun land investments to own if you're interested in something like this. So these are some boilerplate images. I do have more photos. I do have more videos I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna talk about the wilderness study and all that good stuff as well. Um, but you can see we're out here. Um, this is some oceanfront real estate. There's actually a lodge out here called Johnston Bay. I'm gonna show you some photos from that too. The reason I'm showing you some of these photos and some of these other areas is because yes, I haven't had a photographer out to land, but looking into these other areas can give you a really good idea of what you can expect our property to look like that we're selling. So this is a location of the property we're selling here. We're in the Gulf of Alaska. We're in Whidbey Bay is what it's called. Um, so this is Whidbey Bay back here. Um, this is a wilderness study area. And there's some there's some D, uh, DNR land along the ocean here too. Um, so we talk about places to potentially park a boat or a skiff, something like that to get up to the property, um, kayak up there, whatever um, your mode of transportation is. And so I wanted to show you real quick, here's Johnson Adventure Lodge just right around the corner. Um, and you can see some photos that they have posted. You can see people flying over. There's Johnson Bay. That's really cool. Um, the glaciers, right? This is just the reason we look at these photos is to give you an idea of what people are doing on these off-grid properties, to give you an idea of what it looks like out here. Yes, it's not perfect, but this gives you an idea that people are boating out to these areas. People are building off-grid cabins. People are accessing these, this Johnson Bay cabin, okay? Um, and so you can see all that here. I mean, this is what you can expect when you're out there. This is something special. Um, it really is. It really is a cool land investment and you just don't see a lot of these on the market. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was the property on Onyx Maps. I have some other videos and photos pulled up too that I'll show you towards the end of the video. But if we look at Onyx Maps here, if I zoom out again, you've got these glaciers, you've got the lake back there, you've got all these glaciers um, that are behind you. This is all a wilderness study area. Um, it's over 2 million acres. And um, like I said, this is this is a little niche of private land ownership. So out of all this area, you see these private, there's some private landowners back here that are privy to own property back here. You see little swaths of private land ownership. I'm guessing they pull up on the beach here on DNR land. They probably hike up to their properties or fly in. Some way or another, it's Alaska. People are finding ways to get to these properties. You can see other people own these too. Right. And so you can see there's a strip of DNR land. This looks like, I mean, from satellite imagery, it looks like kind of a beach to me. Um, then you've got other private owners here. Where this last little one acre lot right here. Um, again, it's oceanfront real estate on the on the edge of this beach here. To, that's what it looks like to me. Um, and so again, this is Johnson Bay, this is Whidbey Bay. So what do you do with a property like this? I talked about at the beginning of the video, it's a recreational property. Um, typically people that buy this have kind of an outdoorsy um, skill set. Um, so they're that type of buyer. The other people that buy it are like, hey, I wanna have the conversation at a dinner table. I own an acre in Alaska. I'll pay a guide to take me out there and spend the weekend, right? So there's, there's a lot of, you know, maybe you have deep enough pockets to just buy investments like this. Maybe you actually wanna use it um, or take a guide out there. Um, and I just wanted to pull up, you know, we talk about the Nellie Wan College um, Fjord Wilderness Study Area. Here's a document on it. You can kind of look at some photos again. That's what the area is going to look like if you were to go visit this property. Um, it talks a little bit about leaving no trace, um, you know, taking care of the wilderness. So just a little bit of a background in this wilderness area that's, a, you know, basically surrounding the property. The other stuff I pulled up is 
you can see, like if we were to watch this video, um, and I'll pull, go a little bit faster. I won't stay on it too long. Um, and look at that. This gives us insight of what this acre property, where this acre property is. I mean, this is, yes, it, it's not the specific property, but this gives you an idea of what you can expect in this area, right? In your backyard, you can hike and roam through the wilderness study area. Um, there's going to be world-class fishing. There's going to be whale watching. It, it's a special land investment. I mean, go on Zillow and sort by waterfront property in Alaska and tell me how many properties you, you can find like this at this price range, especially. They just don't exist. Um, so, you know, it's a rare asset, right? If we were to click through, um, you know, there's people out here uh, finding these properties, right? There's whale watching. So more specifically, and they talk about it up here too. Um, so anyway, we won't go into that whole video. The last video I pulled up was here in Whidbey Bay, um, right here. They've got a, like a topo map and stuff. You can read through some of this. I thought this was a cool article. Um, they have topo maps of Whidbey Bay. Um, so this was kind of a cool Alaska guy would be Bay. So you can just Google that and you can find this article pulls up. And the last thing I wanted to show you, um, was I did, you know, just Google would be Bay, Alaska, um, and check it out. I mean, people are posting videos out here of like killer whales, orca whales and things like that. So, you know, gray whale off would be salmon fishing and crabbing would be Island, you know, just stuff like that would be Island orcas. So, um, you know, it offers a lot of opportunity to basically own a very unique and epic land investment out here in Alaska. Um, if you're looking for something more traditional, I do have some four or five acre properties out here in Alaska, too. Um, we have other land investments in the state of Alaska, Montana, Idaho. Um, you can take a peek at the homepage. We do offer more of a self-service real estate model. We do offer seller financing for people um, and sometimes can offer cash discounts for, for cash buyers. So um, get with us if you have any questions. You can reach us here at 605 two nine nine triple five three. Thanks for tuning in.